What's up guys, it's Masked Up Swede. Right now I'm checking out another UK Drill plug video. This one is UK Drill's most infamous beef. 6-7 versus 150. So yeah man, let's see what he's saying about this one. I feel like, yeah, there has been stuff happening recently I think. But yeah, when I think of 6-7, I just think of the OGs. And I'm guessing they don't do too much in the streets nowadays. At least that's what I'm guessing. But yeah, I guess the younger ones are still like PR Sad and those guys and Dope Smoke. They seem like they're still active even though they're doing music as well. But yeah, let's see man. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. We're on the way to 2k subs. Let's go. Has brought up some of the biggest and most well-known UK drill rappers. With South London being home to Quengface, Snap Capone, Giggs, and LD, just to name a few. One of the most influential of these rappers to the UK drill scene would be LD and his set 6-7. Uh, definitely. If not, yeah, I guess. That's always the argument. Who's the, like, pioneers of drill, I guess. Is it 6-7 or is it 150? I don't know, man. 6-7 is a large street gang based around two estates in Brixton Hill. Those being Rupal Park and Clapham Park within the SW2 and... S I didn't realize they had a area called Clapham as well. Because Clapham is... There's another area called Clapham, right? SW4 postcodes. Before the 2010s, 6 7 was well known as OSG or On Site Gang and BHB or Brixton Hill Bullies. However, now they refer to themselves as 674, as when typed into a trap phone, it resembles the letters O, S, and G. 6 7 oh. would start making a mark with underground drill songs that they would release. These songs would establish the sound of UK drill music, with the sound even being present today. Only roads away from 6 7 is another large street gang named 150. 150 is Okay, so that's how it looks. A gang based on the Angel Town estate within the SW9 postcode. 150 was made by prominent members of an older gang named Gas Gang, with 150 olders being well known Gas Gang members. 150 has also had a massive impact. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've heard from some of these guys, man. Like S Wavy and. Yeah, that's the only one I can think of right now. <laughs> Act on the drill scene with rappers like M24, Styx, Grizzy, and M Dark. Yeah, Grizzy's been a while as well. Styx did drop out one song not too long ago, but since then it's been quiet, man. 150 and 67 have had one of the most infamous feuds over the last 10 years, with this rivalry claiming the lives of many different members. Now 150 was originally a part of Gas Gang, which was a notorious street gang within Brixton. They were so notorious and dangerous that in 2012, Brixton was basically a no-go zone. This led them to become one of the most dangerous gangs in South London. Earlier in 2010, Gas Gang members would be looking for ops in nearby TN1 territory, as TN1 was Gas Gang's main rivals. A it's gonna be that classic clip. 15 year old named Zach was attending school that day. He was standing in the front office with another pupil. Zach would spot a car driving outside and he would recognize gas gang members as the drivers. Zach was affiliated with Tulse Hill based group TN1, which would make him a rival. Anyways, four gas gang members would leave the car and would start walking up to the school. None of these guys look old at all, man. Like, all of these guys gotta be under 20. Zach would realize this and alert nearby teachers. Zach would start to run, with the gas gang members starting to chase him. He would only make it around 100 meters before the gas gang members would catch up and stab him to death. The sad thing is... R.I.P. man. Zach was looking to change his life around and even gave a speech about the gang life the day before his murder. It's unknown why the gas gang members would seek out Zach, but it's largely speculated that Zach was present at a stabbing of a gas gang member before his death. Rest in peace, Zach. In later years, younger members would splinter off and create a new set. They would refer to themselves as Gas Rock Block 150, but would simply rename to 150, which we know today. 150 are often credited as creating the modern day drill sound and being pioneers in the scene. Yeah, that's what I mean, man. That's not a lot of views, though. But back then, it probably was. 6-7 and 150 have been having an active beef as far back as the early 2010s. I'm unsure of why both of the areas beef, but it's most likely due to either drugs or money, as we see a lot of infamous rivalries starting over small incidents. However, the beef between these two sides would escalate with stabbings and shootings playing out in the streets. Another reason 6-7 and 150 would have a rivalry was due to 6-7 being cool with gangs like TN1, which Zach was a part of before being killed by Gas Gang. In December 2013, a YouTube channel named On Demand 
band would upload a drill track named It's Cracking. This song had 150 rappers. Yeah, I remember that one. Rappers named M Darg and Styx. They directly would diss six seven. I don't think I was listening to it at the time though. That was a bit before I started listening to drill. I think six seven was probably the my introduction to drill on this song this song would gain thousands of views giving the public a view on the beef from an outside look in only months later in february 2014 six seven would make a direct response track named it's frying featuring scribs dimsy and monkey six seven would use the same beat as one fifth wait what's that even monkey in that picture named, it's frying featuring scribs dimsy and monkey six no way that monkey man I can't see it, man, but it may be, man. Seven would use the same beat as 150 and would even swap their lyrics around in order to diss each other. Damn. I'm Buck Stizzy, Buck 5 old Rum Bricky. Yeah. Cause I've been in the field. Niggas talk reckless and niggas get killed. Been in the. Fuck Stizzy, sit seven four Rum Bricky. You're talking shit. Oh, While you're in the field, you're just in your crib. Bitch, stop lying. Stop, 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 stop. These songs would have a unique. Yeah, both of those were pretty cold, man. Unique style to them. Before these songs, Drill in the UK wasn't really present, but was instead referred to as road rap. However, 6, 7, and 150 started making Drill songs, with UK Drill becoming a genre. Scribs would keep making music after... See, that's monkey, man. ...D started making Drill songs, with UK Drill becoming a genre. That's monkey. No way it was him in that picture back then, man. No way. Scribs would keep making music after this, having previously dropped a few songs. Later in 2014, Scribs would be issued an ASBO, which meant he wasn't able to make music for two years in his case. Oh, right. Oh, uh, I even forgot about the whole Scribs LD thing, man. After this, Scribs would change his name and start rapping under the name LD. He also started wearing the iconic LD mask around this time. His first song under the LD name would be called Live Corn and would quickly blow up in the drill scene. This Old song, man. This song currently sits on over 7 million views, becoming one of the most legendary drill songs. On the 25th of February 2014, a 6-7 member named Incy was riding out onto the Angel Town estate, which is 150 territory. Incy would spot a 150 member and start running him down. Whilst Incy was ducking down his op, a different 150 member named SQ would be walking through Angel Town. He would notice his friend being chased and would intervene trying to protect his friend. SQ would end up being chased down an alleyway. Incy would catch up to SQ and stab him multiple times in the chest, with the knife coming out of his back. Sadly, SQ was pronounced dead whilst being in the hospital. R.I.P. man. Rest in peace, SQ. Incy was arrested and charged for this murder, and later in December 2014, Incy was convicted for the murder of SQ and was given 12 years. Six, seven. That seems kind of light. For a, like the type of murder this seems to have been. Members would start referring to Incy as Skincy in order to mock SQ. Incy would also start calling himself Skincy. The death of SQ would escalate the beef between 6-7 and 150 into a full-out rivalry that even continues up until this day. 6-7 members would release a song named Skangman after the death of SQ. This song was riddled with disses towards SQ and 150. After this death, tit-for-tat incidents would still be playing out within the streets. One of the most gruesome incidents would occur in mid-2015. A one 50 member named Days would be walking on the Angel Town estate when 6-7 members would spot him. They would run up to him and a fight would break out. This resulted in 6-7 members stabbing Days multiple times in the stomach. His stomach had been opened as a result of the stabbing resulting in him being put on life support. However, he would survive and make a full recovery. This gruesome oh. attack would be rapped about on a song 6-7 made only weeks later. The song was called Take It There, with Days being dissed. That's a cold song as well, man. In the chorus of the song. Niggas know how we got down days. How you gonna make it fair? How? Say Take it there would quickly. Yeah, that's mad, man. Because I don't think I was clocking the bars like that back then. But yeah, seeing that now, that's crazy, man. ...gain attention, with it currently sitting on 12 million views. Days is even dissed in recent 6-7 songs, with younger 6-7 members dissing the incident a lot. In 2016, we would see... Um, so he's literally... Fucking admitting the crime in the song. Seven songs. Because he's saying, me and bro, I done. And the way that I got down. Yeah, that's crazy, man.
I don't know why you would be saying that on a song, man. With younger 6-7 members dissing the incident a lot, in 2016 we would see 6-7 taking over the UK music scene, with them even being nominated for an award at the Mobos. Sneakbo, who was a 150 member, was also at the Mobos. This meant that 6-7 and 150 were at the same event. However, nothing happened between the two gangs during the event. 2016 would be a massive year for 6-7 and Drill as a whole. In February 2016, Gigs and 6-7 would release a song titled Let's Lurk. This song up until this day is one I'm 23 M's that's big man. one of UK Drill's most legendary songs with the whole of UK singing along to it 6-7 was starting to look like they could maybe get mainstream success and be the first group to do so in the UK Drill genre the song was an instant success with it currently sitting on 23 million views 150 would also be rapping during this time however they weren't as successful as 6-7 were with their main rappers being Grizzy, Styx yeah, I don't know what you would say today, though. Like, I have no clue how much money, like, 6-7 guys are making. Obviously, we know M24 is making bread, man. But, yeah, 6-7, they probably, they're probably still making money of these old songs as well, man. And Sneakbo. However, in 2018, a young 150 member would start rapping under the 150 name, this member being M24. He wasn't that active to start with in 2018. However, once 2019 had begun... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. I didn't even rate M24 like that back then. Like, I didn't think his music was that good so that it was, like, standing out. I did listen to this riding with Tuki a lot, though. Like, a couple songs I did listen to, but I didn't think he was, like, one of the best we would start seeing M24's name regularly. Now 6-7 have had a close alliance with the nearby street gang LTH. They have been allied for years with the older generation of LTH being TN1 and the younger generation being renamed LTH or Lower Tulse Hill. 6-7 and LTH have made music together. For yeah, so this C1 and those guys, yeah. Yeah, DT as well now, of course. Those Slims, LTH there as well. Yeah, man. For years. In 2018, a 16 year old member of LTH named JSAV would start rapping alongside other LTH members like C1. He would even appear in the background of music videos disrespecting his ops. On the 5th of November 2018, at around 11 p.m., J. Sav would be standing in Greenleaf Close within Tulse Hill. Two cars with false number plates would slowly approach J. Sav. Masked men would then jump out of the car, and a fight between J. Sav and the men would ensue. Sadly, this altercation would end in J. Sav being stabbed multiple times in the stomach whilst his mum was watching. J. Sav would be- His mum was watching. Yeah, that's crazy, mum. ...be pronounced dead on the scene. R.I.P. And the saddest part is, his mum would be the first to find him whilst he lay in her arms. Rest in peace, J. Sav. J. Sav's murder goes unsolved up until this day. However, four men were originally arrested, but they didn't face any charges due to the lack of evidence. Although it's largely speculated 150 are responsible for this. There's kind of... It's, I wouldn't say a lot of unsolved crimes, but I'm seeing more and more, though. I thought most guys went to jail for the like for these mad things, but I guess not that many do. I would like to see the percentage though of like how many get caught and how many don't. In Sweden, it's like eighty percent don't get caught, so this murder. However, it hasn't been confirmed. Due to 6-7 and LTH having a very close alliance, the beef would become very deadly very quickly, with 2019 being one of the most dangerous years in the feud. On the 14th of June 2019, a member named Stomps from the set 3-7, who are allied with 150, with M24 and Burner even being related, would be in a Wandsworth Park when a 6-7 member named Giant would spot him. An altercation would occur, with Giant stabbing Stomps multiple times. Giant would flee the scene, leaving Stomps to die. Police and paramedics would arrive on the scene, however, despite their attempts to save Stomps, he would sadly be pronounced dead moments later. RIP, man. Rest in peace, Stomps. Stomps would be referenced in many 6-7 songs, and still is, as he previously had mocked the death of j -Sav on Snapchat before he died. Little man was chatting on Sav and got yourself packed, now he's a hashtag. Um, see some of these bars I wouldn't I'm not gonna lie without this video I wouldn't know they were literally talking about that in that sense but yeah man
That's crazy. <laughs> what a shame. Aww. And the ops can't chat on Sav. Chatting on Sav got shaved, Sav. Nothing's been done to date. Just under two months later in August 2019, a CT member named Solomon Small, or S1, would be walking to a friend's house when a 17-year-old would start to follow S1. S1 would realize that he was being followed and would alert his friend he was walking with at the time. The 17-year-old would approach S1 and would start getting into a verbal altercation with him. A fight would break out, with the 17-year-old drawing a knife and stabbing S1 multiple times. The attacker would flee the scene, but would be arrested and charged days later due to the fact DNA was found on burnt clothing. Rest in peace, S1. Yeah, all right, P, man. One, 2019 would end badly for 6-7, with their main rappers being arrested. LD would be arrested in December 2019 and would be charged with a large county lines operation, shipping cocaine to different counties. LD would be given four years and six months and was later released. Now he's back in jail. In late 2021, he was only out for a few months before going back to prison and being charged with an attempted murder. He is looking at life in prison with him. Um, even pleading guilty during 2020 and 2020 oh, he even pleaded guilty as well one we would see a lot of new faces start rapping under the six seven name this included pr sad dope smoke and brucka they would start to drop really rude songs whilst the older generation were locked up and these youngers would be known to be dangerous to their ops in 2022 a loved member of six seven named itch or chris kaba was shot dead by police whilst in his r.i.p man that's a crazy situation man his car. Rest in peace, Itch or Chris Kaba. 150 are also active in music, with new youngers starting to rap under the name. This includes D38, M24, and Tuki. Some of the biggest drill songs. I mean, Tuki, I haven't heard from Tuki in like. Yeah, I don't know, man. Feels like a couple of years, I'm not gonna lie, man. Songs have come from the 156. D38 hasn't dropped a lot either. Set, with M24 blowing up and becoming one of the most well known rappers after dropping We Don't Dance. Many views did it have? And becoming one of the most well known rappers after dropping We Don't I'm 43 M's. That's crazy. Dance. So I'm smart and I in 2022, a popular UK drill rapper named Perm from nearby Set CT would oh. be shot dead on the 31st of October by RIP, man. six seven members. He was a part of nearby Claptown, which six seven has had an ongoing rivalry with for years. Perm was very prominent in the UK drill scene in 2014 and 15, with his music videos getting a lot of recognition. He had UK drill bangers like Dotty in the Ride and What's All the Talk About. Rest in peace, Perm. This video highlights the dangers of the street life, with people losing their life to the streets and jail every day. This life isn't worth it. Once you're involved there, it definitely isn't, man. There's no turning back. These people that make you think they are your friends may not be around in 10 years when you're right. Just listen to all the guys that are locked up. How they say, like, every single time they say, like, yeah, nobody's visiting, nobody's sending money. They, they just sit in there alone. But yeah, man. That's how it goes. Let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.